Now we construct the confidence interval for the population parameter mu when the sigma square is known. Now we specific cases ke hawale se confidence interval develop karenge. Specific population parameter ke liye confidence interval kar, uh, develop karenge based on some certain condition. Jaise ki isme hamare paas condition kya hai confidence interval for the population mean when the population variance is known. Jab population variance hamare paas known hoga, to how we are going to develop the confidence interval for mu. To let's see how we proceed for this one. Assuming that the random variable x1 up to xn drawn from the normal distribution and the point estimate theta we represent the uh, mu actually theta which is actually theta that is actually x bar and that is x1 plus up to so on xn divided by n. Since x i's are normally distributed with mean theta and variance sigma square and also x i's are independent variables with known sigma square that is given in the statement. So, if we are interested to find the distribution of x bar because we are going to develop the confidence interval for theta. So, x bar basically follow the normal distribution with mean same as theta, but variance basically that is sigma square over and that is a well known property. If x is a normal distribution with mean theta and sigma square, then the distribution of x bar is again that mean theta and variance sigma square over n. By normalizing x bar, we get that is x bar minus theta over sigma square over n and basically we can write it as that is x bar minus theta over sigma over under root n and that is basically the standard normal distribution with mean 0 and variance 1. So, therefore, therefore the confidence interval we denoted confidence interval by c i for the standard normal is basically that is the probability we have already determined that that is z minus z alpha by 2 less than or equal to and we know that z is a uh, standard normal distribution. So, that is actually replaced by x bar minus theta over sigma over under root n and that is less than or equal to z alpha by 2 and that is actually 1 minus alpha. So, we write this by using the definition your standard normal distribution ke liye jo confidence interval humne develop ki hai. Uh, confidence interval ki definition ko use karke humne ye a confidence interval state ki hai. So, now solving for the theta because we are interested to find the confidence interval for the theta. So, we have to solve this for the theta this inequality. So, that is basically the probability x bar is side pe aajega, that is x bar minus z alpha by 2 into ye dusri side pe aajega, to this become sigma over under root n that is less than or equal to theta and that is less than or equal to the dusri side may be adega that is x bar plus z alpha by 2 into sigma over under root n 
that is 1 minus alpha. So, hence x bar minus z alpha by 2 into sigma over under root n and x bar plus z alpha by 2 sigma over under root n is the 1 minus alpha 100 percent confidence interval for the mean and mean is represented by theta. So, it is important to note that we do not require the n so large because we know that the population variance, the population variance hame maloom ho, to iske liye zaroori nahi hai ki n large ho ya small ho, we because it just straightforwardly follow the normal distribution. So, in this case when the population variance is known, the confidence interval for the population mean which is represented here by theta is that is sigma uh, x bar minus z alpha by 2 into sigma over under root n and x bar plus z alpha by 2 sigma over under root n is the confidence interval for the population mean.